All right, so we got ourselves a new toy. A little bit of fun. First upgrade. Welcome back to the channel. So, new family fun vehicle uh well bmw x3 m40i this thing rips out of the box inline six turbo by scroll turbo about 350 horsepower 360 plus pounds of torque right out of the box and very easy to tune. If you're familiar with the B58 engines, they're overbuilt uh, and underrated. You can handle a little bit more juice than what you're giving them. So if you've seen my previous video with the Lexus, with the IS200T, we put the JB Plus tuner in that little turbo, that little guy, that little four-cylinder turbo, and that thing cranked um, right out of the box, very inexpensive upgrade. Well, I reached out to Burger Tuning after I purchased this vehicle. Said, hey, I want to squeeze a little juice out of this thing, something simple, just an inline plug-in. Their JB Plus is what I asked them about. And they were nice enough to send me a unit to do a video on, an install video. And it's super simple, simple to install. That little thing... We're going to open it up right now. Super excited. Thanks again. So. That little guy right there. Plugs in line. Inside here you have some adjustments that uh, you can use to adjust the boost. But we're going to use it right out of the gate. This little guy right here. 40-ish horsepower, around similar, for anywhere between 40 to 45 horsepower, and uh, just minor adjustments to uh, your vehicle uh, right out of the box in line. And so that's all I'm looking for. We'll push around 400 horsepower and keep things as, you know, kind of stock as possible get good gas mileage this thing gets around 20, anywhere between 23 27 miles per gallon so let's uh start her up take her for a little rip around the neighborhood and uh then we'll install this and uh take another ride afterwards to see what it feels like you listen to that that exhaust sounds real good all right so here we are stock sport Plus, which put it into that guy, and um, you're getting your most uh, performance tuned out of this vehicle. And out of the box, this X3, the M40 version, I'm telling you, it just rips right out of the box. And uh, it's a fun vehicle. For the price, this vehicle is slept on. That B58 engine, Whew. so nice. I didn't do any videos, but I had a uh, I had a 430i X Drive, their uh, their four cylinder uh, 2.2 liter turbo, and that thing was fast too. Uh, I never did a tuner on it, but um, kind of regret not doing that. So let's uh, do a quick lap around the block, plug this thing in, and then do another one. And uh, just get a feel for it. Nothing scientific here. Just see if I could tell the difference immediately from plugging it in and just giving a little rip. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the hood, lock the doors, and then we're going to go move this uh, 20, 30 feet away and wait about three to four minutes for everything to be locked and the ECU to kind of settle and not have a connection to this so we don't accidentally um, unlock or turn it on while we're doing the install. All right, so super easy. It's just one simple plug in line. Easiest way to do this, pop off your cover. It's got four little 
grommets holding it in place. Set that guy off to the side. And where you're gonna install it, it's gonna plug in piggyback right here on your T-map sensor and your uh, charge pipe. All right, simple piggyback. And so this little, uh, we'll say it's a whitish, greenish colored clip that you need to pop backwards. It basically needs to pull this direction. That's what you need to loosen in order to open this guy up and remove and release it. So popped it out. All right, this little sucker is kind of tough to get out initially. So just make sure you are, this thing's popped out and pushed down as you're pulling and eventually you'll, you'll get her loose. Okay. And so again, it's just a piggyback. So you are taking the end with your map sensor. You are making sure you're facing it the right way. Plugging that guy in, pressing your white button back down to lock it in place. And then you are doing the same thing on this side, just reverse action. Pop that guy in, click, lock that white piece in place, boom. And you, sir, have done the install the piggyback install of the JB Plus. And that's it. Boom. Put it back on. The nice thing about this install is that you can take it off real easy if you're taking your BMW in for service. So let's go take it for a ride, see what it feels like. So it does take some time to adjust to your ECU so you aren't going to see everything you expect right out of the box. We're gonna take it for a drive because I just wanna see what it feels like. Again, we're in Sport Plus mode, but I wanna be able to tell, again, non-scientific, if I could tell the difference. This thing adds 40 wheel horsepower is what they advertise. So, I mean, that's significant, $200-ish and uh, 40 horsepower right out of the box. So, let's see what we got. We'll take it for a rip here real quick. <laughs> oh, $200 smile factor. You can feel the pull right off the bat. It's, uh, yeah, that's significant for the price. Yeah. Man, smile makers, they're not that expensive. Quick install, first impression video, $200. If you have a B58 engine, I'm telling you these X3 M40s, $70,000 vehicle. This is a used one with, you know, low miles. 30K you can buy it for, inline six, by scroll turbo, I mean, 200 bucks. 40 wheel horsepower out of the box. This is the best money you're gonna spend to get performance uh, immediately out of your vehicle with just a simple piggyback plug-in. Um, thanks again, Burger Tuning, for sending me this uh, unit. Uh, I'm gonna run it ragged, so I'll report back at any point if I start running into any issues, but uh, simple install, wanted to show you how easy it was and how simple it is to do this JB plus look at the JB four down the road, but um, that'll probably take some other modifications. So thanks again. Thanks again for watching. I hope this helped somebody out if they're doing an install of this and can kind of see where it's at on the X threes um, and the B 58 uh, engine bay on those. So thanks for sticking around.